Okay, so what's happening is my name's Constable Kieran Ford. I'm from Auckland City Police Hub. Here's my identification. We've arrived at the house to serve a summons. Uh, the vehicle's going to be green stickered as well. Sure. Because it's a stainless attraction that needs to undergo an uh, inspection. <laughs> right, okay. No. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> can, is, you can do that without seeing the vehicle, even though it just had a waffle earlier. I'm not, I'm not a mechanic. Yeah, but uh, any car can sustain loss of traction, no matter how legal it is, but yeah, okay, fair enough. Sure, yeah. Okay, that's fine then, yeah. Yeah, all good, sweet. No, sweet. Um, Thanks for your time. Cool. We'll cool. be in touch. I'll send those things through to you. Yeah. Um, to your email address. Cool. And um, like I said, in relation to the summons, you have to appear in the court on next day. Yep. If anything changes between now and then, I'll be in touch with you. Um, oh. If you don't appear in the court on that date, which will be called having issues, yep. legal advice will explain on the back of the summons. Cool. Explain everything in relation to the vehicle. Yeah. Any questions for me, Corey? No. Okay. If you um, think of something, book us an email. Yep. Bit of a hectic morning here at the house. Um, woke up at about 9.30, 10 ish, had a bit of a sleep in. It's just in the kitchen, making some breakfast. You my coffee, hadn't showered, was still kind of out of it. And here at knock on the door, it's the cops, and they were here to give me my court summons and take my car away, which I knew has been coming for the last two or three weeks ish. Uh, two cops opened the door and I didn't have the camera on me at this point. Um, they were sort of aggressive, um, even just at the front door. Uh, they were just like, yeah, we're here to see you. And like, as soon as I opened the door, one of them tried to put their foot inside the door. Um, and I was just like, whoa, like calm down. Like, do you have a warrant to be inside? They only came there to give me my court summons, which just says you have to go to court on this date for um, sustained loss of traction. And I think it was excessive speeding, um, which is what I've allegedly done. So anyway, they came to our house to give me that and to impound the car. They gave me a, you know, all this stuff here, all this paperwork. Um, just saying, you know, you've done this, you've done that, we're taking the car, not allowed to sell the car, blah, blah, blah. They wouldn't even let me go upstairs to get my camera to film anything, which is why it's all filmed on my phone. But yeah, so pretty much the Sylvia is gone for 28 days in the impound and then I've got a court date in about a month and a bit. But um, yeah, I've been through this whole thing before. Um, I was tried for boy racing two or three years ago. Um, there was zero evidence, and this is the case a few years ago, there was zero evidence. Basically, me and a mate were allegedly driving around, speeding, drifting, blah blah, boy racing, as they say. Um, they came to our house, impounded both of our cars, and came into our house without a warrant. And then in court, we basically just said, look, there's no evidence, and we got off. Um, I think I had to plead guilty to misuse of a vehicle or something. So, yeah, I think that the legislation is kind of bullshit that they can just take your vehicle from you without actually showing you the evidence of why they had to, like what, why they're taking the vehicle. It's just ridiculous. Like, if they had came here and shown me a video of me drifting in the streets, then absolutely take my vehicle. They they really treat you like you're guilty until you're proven innocent, if you are, if they don't stack up a bunch of other shit on you. It's just, I'm honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the NZ system. And I'm not one of those people that like bashes cops. I think they're all doing their jobs, blah, blah, blah. Like I didn't yell at them or anything when they came in the house. I was just very shocked that they were quite aggressive of coming in, you know. The main constable who's been emailing me saying that he's gonna to come to my house, He's like, oh, can I have a conversation with you? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And I just held my phone up, you know, recording it. Like I was the entire time. I think I have like 40 minutes of footage. He's just like, oh, nah, I'm not going to talk to you if you're recording it. And I was like, well, if you have nothing to say to me that you can publicly say on camera, then why the fuck? Like, then don't say it. Like, if it's not if it's not necessary to be said and you're not comfortable saying it on camera, then just don't say it at all. So I was just like, get the fuck out of my house. Like, yeah, I guess I'll keep you guys updated. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And you know, the police are just doing their jobs. If I'm found guilty on these crimes that I've allegedly committed, um, crimes, racing, as they call it, then yeah, you know, we'll see how it goes, but obviously not gonna be much Sylvia content on the vlog for the next month, so if you have any ideas of other stuff we can do, I'll still be doing a bunch of photography stuff as we come out of this lockdown, but yeah. So it's been a few days now since um, all that shit happened, and it is now Saturday, 
Uh, we're gonna go to Piha and do a bit of FPV flying with the boys. So yeah, just getting packed up now. I just mounted the GoPro to the drone for the first time. I took it for a quick test flight and I managed to crash it already. Flew it over the road and well, this happened. <laughs> But anyway, um, we're just charging the rest of the batteries now and we'll be ready to go. So we'll see you guys at Piha. So just here setting up the FPV drone at Piha. Haven't been here in a few years, it's pretty beautiful. Um, yeah, luckily Kiwi Quartz is able to hook us up. Um, we went and picked up a part. On the way here I completely snapped off one of these antennas. So yeah, um, trying to watch out for this power line here of course and the babies and the water. There's a lot of obstacles out here. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna give it our best shot. Different, this the seven seas. I deal with life different, make that limit squeeze. Went off for my style and identity. Better bounce back and get the cheddar cheese. I guess that's why they envy me. Where is it? Did it just drop? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Um, you would have just seen that it went straight into the water, so that's like fucking $1,700 down the drain. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this, but like sometimes when I've been doing a dive, and it just comes back up, it just doesn't accelerate back up fast enough and yeah, so I don't know. I think it's probably a sign that I should just be a bit more, I don't know. I didn't feel like I was ex like exceeding it that much, but oh well. We fucked up Layla, fucked up. Pick up the shit, bro. <laughs> Pick up the Wait, shit. How durable is this bag? Just scrape it under the sand, bro. It'll decompose. <laughs> Wait, so do I put it inside out? Like, it doesn't matter. You can just, just go grab it and then just clump it up with some sand. You know what? Oh, oh look at that. Oh, <laughs> boys. It wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do this. Grab it. Get a good firm grip and then around it. Yeah. This is your first time picking up poo. Good job, buddy. You want to tie a knot in it, I'm looking. Look at that, Dean picked up your shit. <laughs> I'm not a real fan of it. <laughs> That's stinky. How's that experience? Very stinky. Two new things in one day. Yeah, but you... <laughs> look, look how shit this day is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, bit of an uh, unfortunate ending to the evening there last night. I'm not exactly sure what happened with the drone. I sent the clip to the guys at Kiwi Quads and they reckon it looks like the battery died as it was diving. Um, it would also explain why it died. We went and practiced at the park just before we left to the beach as well. When I came down diving into the road and then it sort of had power as I was pulling up but it just kind of goes like there and then it just falls down. And the exact same thing happened. It came up over the water and I was diving down, it started shaking and then just let go. Yeah, it's a bit bowing, you know, we got content insurance, it's all good, but 
yeah, it's just a bit, a bit of a bummer. Um, and I guess you could say that this week was kind of like pretty fucked up um, in terms of what happened with everything. Um, you know, Sylvia's gone, going to court, lost the drone, all that stuff. But um, yeah, keeping it positive, um, you know, it's all good. I've been through this court stuff before, you know. Um, it's not the end of the world and you know, it's only with the drone, it's only money, you know Still got our health and uh, we're still all good. So yeah um, Hopefully we're back with the FPV soon after I gotta sort out some contents I think I'm gonna get a cheaper system just to play around with uh, while I sort out some of the bugs because I don't know I, I definitely still have a lot to learn in terms of you know how to repair them when they crash and making sure that the voltage and learning all of the electrical stuff and everything. But yeah, I mean, the batteries are fully charged and it fucking, you know, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, hope you guys are doing well and uh, out of lockdown in like eight hours. So very happy about that. Back to work tomorrow, back out into the streets. Uh, we will be hosting a notorious car meet very soon. Obviously won't be bringing the Sylvia to it, but um, yeah, Notorious Car Meet very soon. Possibly the first track day for the Sylvia uh, when we get it back. Uh, there's a few track days coming up soon. So yeah, keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye.